God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The day of resurrection, earth spread the news abroad. The Paschal Feast of Gladness, the Paschal Feast of God. From death to life eternal, from earth to heaven's height, our Saviour Christ has brought us the glorious Lord of light. Give thanks to the Lord. He alone does marvelous deeds. Alleluia. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for his love endures forever whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever, who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever. It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever, the sun to rule in the day, for his love endures forever, the moon and the stars in the night for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord. He, he alone, alone does marvelous deeds. Alleluia. He led Israel out of Egypt. His love endures forever. Alleluia. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched, with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He led Israel out of Egypt. His, his love, love endures, endures forever. forever. Alleluia. The Lord has rescued us from our enemies. Alleluia. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has, has rescued, rescued us from, from our, our enemies. enemies. Alleluia. God has given us a new birth into a living hope. Alleluia. By raising Jesus Christ from the dead. Alleluia. From the first letter of the Apostle Peter. The reason why Christ died for sins once for all, the just man for the sake of the unjust, was that he might lead you to God. 
He was put to death insofar as fleshly existence goes, but was given life in the realm of the spirit. It was in the spirit also that he went to preach to the spirits in prison. They had disobeyed as long ago as Noah's day, while God patiently waited until the ark was built. At that time, a few persons, eight in all, escaped in the ark through the water. You are now saved by a baptismal bath, which corresponds to this exactly. This baptism is no removal of physical stain, but the pledge to God of an irreproachable conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He went to heaven and is at God's right hand with angelic rulers and powers subjected to him. Christ suffered in the flesh, therefore, Arm yourselves with his same mentality. He who has suffered in the flesh has broken with sin. You are not to spend what remains of your earthly life on human desires, but on the will of God. Already you have devoted enough time to what the pagans enjoy, living lives of debauchery, evil desires, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and wanton idolatry. It is no wonder that those blasphemers are surprised when you do not plunge into the same swamp of profligacy as they. They shall give an accounting to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. The reason the gospel was preached even to the dead was that Although condemned in the flesh, in the eyes of men, they might live in the spirit, in the eyes of God. The consummation of all is close at hand. Therefore, do not be perturbed. Remain calm so that you will be able to pray. Above all, let your love for one another be constant, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be mutually hospitable without complaining, as generous distributors of God's manifold grace. Put your gifts at the service of one another, each in the measure he has received. The one who speaks is to deliver God's message. The one who serves is to do it with the strength provided by God. Thus, in all of you, God is to be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him be glory and dominion throughout the ages. Amen. Christ died for our sins, the innocent for the guilty, so that he might lead us back to God. In the flesh he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life. Alleluia. He is seated at God's right hand, he died to make eternal life our heritage. In the flesh he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life. Alleluia. From the Jerusalem Catechesis. When we were baptized into Christ and clothed ourselves in him, we were transformed into the likeness of the Son of God. Having destined us to be his adopted sons, God gave us a likeness to Christ in his glory, and living as we do in communion with Christ, God's anointed, we ourselves are rightly called the anointed ones. When he said, do not touch my anointed ones, God was speaking of us. We became the anointed ones when we received the sign of the Holy Spirit. Indeed, everything took place in us by means of images, because we ourselves are images of Christ. Christ bathed in the river Jordan, imparting to its waters the fragrance of his divinity. And when he came up from them, the Holy Spirit descended upon him, like resting upon like. So we also, after coming up from the sacred waters of baptism, were anointed with chrism, 
which signifies the Holy Spirit, by whom Christ was anointed and of whom blessed Isaiah prophesied in the name of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has sent me to preach good news to the poor. Christ's anointing was not by human hands, nor was it with ordinary oil. On the contrary, having destined him to be the savior of the whole world, the Father himself anointed him with the Holy Spirit. The words of Peter bear witness to this. Jesus of Nazareth, whom God anointed with the Holy Spirit, and David the prophet proclaimed, Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. Your royal scepter is a scepter of justice. You have loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above all your fellows. The oil of gladness with which Christ was anointed was a spiritual oil. It was, in fact, the Holy Spirit himself, who is called the oil of gladness because he is the source of spiritual joy. But we too have been anointed with oil, and by this anointing we have entered into fellowship with Christ and have received a share in his life. Beware of thinking that this holy oil is simply ordinary oil and nothing else. After the invocation of the Spirit, it is no longer ordinary oil, but the gift of Christ. And by the presence of his divinity, it becomes the instrument through which we receive the Holy Spirit. While symbolically, on our foreheads and senses, our bodies are anointed with this oil that we see, our souls are sanctified by the holy and life-giving Spirit. You have believed the good news and have been sealed according to the promise with the Holy Spirit. He is the pledge of our inheritance. The promise of freedom for those whom God has won for himself to the praise of his glory. Alleluia. God has anointed us and sealed us as his own. And as a pledge of what is to come, he has given us the spirit that dwells in our hearts. The promise of freedom for those whom God has won for himself to the praise of his glory. Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, we acclaim you. You, you are, are the eternal, eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. Eternal Father, you gave us the Easter mystery as our covenant of reconciliation. May the new birth we celebrate show its effects in the way we live. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. Thanks. 